hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video we are going to be talking about the various stages of building construction now we are going to be talking about the superstructure phase of the building construction okay so the next stage we're going to be talking about is what we call the block work now after casting the dpc we go on to do the block setting during this process the windows the doors the and any other openings are marked out by the bricklayer under the supervision of a builder when erecting the building wall like so then the next stage is what we call the lintel level. Now, after erecting your wall, the lintel is built on top of the wall. So you know, the lintel is a beam placed across the door and window openings. It is used as a support for the load of the structure placed above it. And during, during this process, the form work is done as well as the reinforcement being placed in the form work and then the casting of the lintel follows appropriately. So the next stage we are going to be talking about is the leveling stage. Now, after the removal of the form work, the leveling is done. And this leveling is, is what is just the addition of courses of block. And these blocks are placed to do what? To get the desired headroom for the building. Then we go next to what? Casting of the suspended floor. Now, as soon as the desired headroom is gotten, what follows is the form work for the suspended floor, like you can see in the video. And also, the form work for the staircase is done simultaneously. This form work can be done with planks or construction blocks, I mean the panels, okay? Now, the beam for the suspended floor is tied by the iron benders. Now, the next is to lay a damp-proof membrane. And this is done in order to do what? To avoid excess concrete from going through the part of the foam work that is not properly covered. Yes, so please take note of this. Don't skip this stage, okay? Now, the next stage is what? The tying of the reinforcement for the slab. The iron work proper is done, as you can see. Tying of this reinforcement usually requires a lot of supervision by appropriate professionals to make sure they are done according to specification. As soon as this is done, you do what? You go in with your MEP, that is the mechanical, electrical, and the plumbing services, after which the floor is prepared for what? For casting. Now, the next stage is what we call the casting stage. Here, the appropriate mix is poured over, like so, to achieve a level floor surface, okay? Then you allow the concrete to cure. Now, the next stage is sometimes the repetition of what happened on the ground floor. And sometimes it's, it is not. But in this video, it is, which is um, the block forming, marking of um, our openings, and um, establishing lintels and the rest of it. So, so after the final level of the block work have been achieved for the suspended floor, you, the next stage is what is called casting of the roof beam. So you do that, and why doing that is just the same process you did while doing the lintel, okay? But the depth of your roof beam is already in your structural design. So you go back there and um, get the depth for your roof beam. Then the next stage is the what? Um, concrete fascia. So it's either you use a precast concrete fascia or a cast institute. It depends on you. But in this video, we did a precast concrete fascia as you can see then the next stage is what we call the roofing stage as this is being done other finishes like plastering door insulation window insulation screening tiling painting will be going on as well with this we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe okay